Hello everybody, Quiet Atheist here. Um, I want to take a quick moment to tell you guys that I have a little bit of privacy for the moment. So with that said, I'm going to make a quick video on a story that I found and that I want to share with you guys. Uh, please feel free to look in the comment section down below for the story and all the information that will be relevant to this particular video at hand. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the TV program, but if just in case you're not, it is called Duck Dynasty. Um, and it portrays these individuals that go around and do all of these sorts of different things, so on and so forth. But a recent legal matter has come up with one of these individuals, and he goes by the name of Phil Robertson, which is part of the Duck Dynasty crew. And they work for Annie, the cable program. And Phil Robertson recently said that uh, he didn't like homosexuals and so on and so forth, you know, and that, and I even heard that he compared homosexuality with uh, bestiality and that he did not approve of either, you know, because the Bible said so. Well, it turns out that uh, Amy didn't like this and they t turned around and suspended Phil Robertson for what he had said and um, it is undetermined at the moment when he will regain his employment status with this program but I want to read a little bit of a, a little bit of a statement from A&E about this entire situation and it is as follows we are extremely disappointed to have read Phil Robertson's comments in GQ, which are based on his own personal beliefs and are not reflected in the series Duck Dynasty. His personal views in no way reflect those of A&E networks who have always been strong supporters and the champions of the LGBT community. See, they were big supporters of the LGBT community and rightfully so. They, you know, became offended when they heard of this nonsense. And it just, you know, really makes one think that these individuals are willing to do whatever they want, you know, to get their point across. Now this Robertson character from the Dynasty has to, you know, pay for the remarks he has made. And I agree with what Annie did, because he did not need to bring religious remarks into, you know, the situation that he was in. You know, it wasn't appropriate. I mean, he didn't really have to do that. And it obviously offended a lot of people, and that's why he suspended. But I think, hopefully, that this will be a lesson to this man, and I hope he learns, you know. Um, there's been a lot of trash talk online, and I've noticed a lot of people, you know, posting things about him. You know, obviously, they're on his side, you know. And they make it perfectly known, you know, and they said, you know, one of the things that caught my attention that really made me laugh is the fact that I seen someone post on Facebook, you know, uh, free speech is not only for liberals. <laughs> and it really made me laugh when I had to read that, you know, because it just makes me laugh. These guys have no idea, man. They don't understand the whole situation and they don't know why he was suspended in the first place, you know. And if they did read why he was suspended, if they did read the information and whatnot, they're just, you know, ignorant. And they don't want to, you know, face the truth with what was said by this man, you know. Again, what he said wasn't right. He had no right to say it. And these remarks didn't belong in the atmosphere, you know. And like I said before, he is suspended till I'm not sure when, but all relevant information will be provided in the description below like I said for you all to take a look at and you know that's what I wanted to share with you guys because these fundamentalist Christians I think are you know, out of the ordinary if you will they like to say a lot of things they like to think that they cannot be touched you know they like to think that they're this brand of untouchable so to speak you know, so sometimes some of them get a big head and they say what they want to say, when they want to say it, and how they want to say it. Well, this is a very, very big lesson to be learned here, Mr. Robertson. You, know, you can't go around saying things, 
you know, like this. You can't go around saying homophobic slurs like this in any kind of situation when it involves your professional career because things like this will happen. A lot of people are champions and supporters of the LGBT community and they do become offended when they hear these things. And you have to understand, you know, that's just the way it is. You know, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about this particular situation. You know, let me know. Um, it just totally threw me for a loop, you know, and I wanted to, you know, share the story with you guys. And I had just a split second of privacy time here at one o'clock in the morning, and. Um, that's why I uh, felt motivated just to shoot up from bed and make a real quick video and uh, share the story with you guys. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And um, Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.